Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Chris and I'm actually out here on my own and I'm gonna go on my very first solo thrifting trip and I brought the GoPro. We're gonna go in and see what I could find. This video is actually a part of a collaboration with some other YouTubers called the $50 Thrift Haul. This isn't really a challenge or anything. We're not competing with each other. This is more just kind of showing everybody what we can find for $50 or less. So Kathy's at home working. I did take Cy to school. So I had a couple hours to come out and try to thrift. And we're gonna make this a little bit more fun. I'm gonna bring the GoPro, like I said, show you guys what I find and maybe what I didn't find, what I missed, you guys can show us down in the comments. So I'm not gonna message Kathy at all with any of what I'm finding or what I'm comping or what I'm looking at. I'm gonna just go solo trip and then we're gonna get her reaction on everything that I find and see what she thinks about it. So she's gonna kind of critique my finds and hopefully I find something good and uh, impress her. So let's get into this Goodwill and start thrifting. All right, guys, so I got into Goodwill uh, probably a little bit after it opened, probably half an hour after it opened and it was fairly busy. Normally I would head straight to the shoes like Kathy does, but there was just too many people there. So I, I kind of went to a little bit less crowded area. I went to some shirts. Um, didn't find much, just kind of showing you through uh, some things. I'm a nerd, so I like, you know, Star Wars and that kind of stuff just catches my eye, but I know it's not huge to resell, so I kind of passed it on. Oh, and this Duluth... Uh, this was a new with tag Duluth long sleeve tee, and I thought that would have been a great pickup for the right price. Looked in good shape. It was a good size. I think it was a 2XL. Um, yeah, it still had the sticker on it. Just looking it over real quick, and yeah, it was like six bucks, seven dollars, something like that. Uh, yeah, seven dollars. So I decided to pass on that. So I wasn't too sure on what I was looking for at this point in the thrift haul. Um, just looking for anything that catches my eye, anything vintage that I can comp out. Unfortunately, I didn't see anything that really caught my eye in this, in this rack at least, so. And with our Goodwills, we do have the color tag system, so I think today's discounts were like tan, and maybe white, I'm not exactly sure. So yeah, with not having any luck in the shirts yet, I went ahead and decided to move on. I was gonna head towards the pot and pans, but I saw the games here, and you know, part of this video is to try to show you guys what we have at our Goodwills around town, and um, yeah, I also like, we like board games and stuff, so if, I, if anything caught my eye, I was gonna pick it up for myself, but Nothing really caught my eye there, so. Then I moved into the pots and pans. The aisle was pretty clear for me, so I spent some pretty good time in here looking through um, the things. And obviously, we're not huge into pot and pan, pots and pans, but I did find this. Now this Revere Wear copper bottom, you can kind of see there it's got a dent in the bottom. I decided to pass on it after looking it over. Um, just. I'm not too sure about how much it, that affects the resale, so I just decided to pass on that. I did notice this smaller one as I was setting that one down, and I did decide to pick this one up. Uh, yeah, three dollars and fifty cents. A little bit of a smaller saucepan, but uh, I like to check the the handle to see if it wiggles or wobbles or anything. But I'm kind of looking for a lid right now. I didn't see any, but. Um, yeah, decided to pick that one up. And then this Dutch oven caught my eye. Um, Ready Set Resale was just talking about one that he sold for like $300. Um, so I was like, hey, I'll just check this out real quick. Um, I didn't see any kind of branding on it, and it did look a little burnt down on the bottom. Um, wasn't exactly sure if it was worth purchasing, and I couldn't make out any of that lettering on the bottom for any kind of brand um, but I did actually do a um, what is it called a Google lens search so this is this is me doing a Google lens search 
to try to find out if I can get a brand name or any kind of information on it aside from it being a Dutch oven. You can kind of see here the Google Lens search brought up Big Green Egg Dutch Oven. I did just kind of peek in there just to see um, if it matched. It didn't actually match, so I'm pretty sure the one that is here is not a Big Green Egg branded Dutch Oven. Otherwise, I probably would have got it. So I ultimately decided to pass on the Dutch Oven. I did pick up that small one, like I said. I don't know why I set it back on the shelf. I guess I got distracted by the shiny Dutch oven. And I did look down and saw another Revereware pan here. This one was in good shape. And I didn't notice, actually no, this is one that I passed on. You can kind of see there, I passed on it because the handle is really broken and grody. But this is the one that I decided to get pick up. And I didn't notice when I purchased, but you can kind of see there's some uh, screws on the side of that handle. Which I didn't know at the time, but it, I believe it's because the handle has been replaced. And I don't know if that's going to affect the value um, or not, but the normal handles don't have that those screws in there. But yeah, I did decide to pick that one up, and I was just kind of looking at the other pans. This one caught my eye. I don't know what it is. It might be for popcorn, or I don't know. It's not a pan that I'm familiar with. But nothing else here really caught my eye. Nothing that I recognized. Please let me know if I did miss anything. I didn't look too much into, like, the... the Oh no, I did pick this one up. This was a Revereware copper bottom frying pan. Um, good shape. The handle was on there sturdy. handle was in good shape. I did decide to pick that one up. And I did notice this other pan down here. And I think it was a Fiberware, Farberware. Not exactly sure. Which I know there can be some value in that, but I don't know. The pan just... It didn't feel good. The handle was very weird. It didn't feel comfortable at all. So I was going to look up a comp there. I decided against it just because it felt too weird. And... But quickly glanced at all these other pans. I don't like to get nonstick pans. Um, I just don't know. I didn't realize there was a cast iron pan. I didn't even see that until just now. So I kind of regret not looking at that and seeing if it was something worth getting. And I noticed the lid here. This is the lid for Revereware, and it actually did fit my big pot. So I picked that one up. And now I have a lidded pot to sell. Unfortunately, I didn't find any other lid for the smaller one. So I kind of spent a couple seconds here looking through the lids. Usually they put the matching lids and they'll tape them to the, the pot so I'm guessing uh, I kind of lucked out and that lid that I did find didn't come in with the pot that I found or the saucepan. I don't know. Is it a pot? Is it a saucepan? Is it a pan? Is it a sauce pot? I don't know. What are they? <laughs> We're not good with defining them. Oh I thought this was kind of cool but the the tape that they used to tape that lid on actually took the logo or the picture off of that which I thought was a bummer, so I didn't even look it up. And then these little mixing bowls kind of caught my eye, or these nesting bowls. Um, they were pretty expensive. They were priced really high, but they were they were very very nice. They were heavy duty and good shape. Um, was kind of thinking about getting them for ourselves, but decided to pass. I do always like to look at the alarm clocks. I've been uh, trying to find one of those flip tab alarm clocks for a while now. I haven't had any luck yet. Um, yeah, here's some other electronics. We're not huge into electronics, so I'm just kind of showing you guys kind of what our electronic game is. Seems just like a lot of DVD players. Uh, a lot of antiquated technology there. Here's a bunch of speakers. 
nothing's really catching my eye but again I'm not in the electronic game a whole lot so I just decided to, to move on just keep I like to see if anything catches my eye if nothing catches my eye I just try to move on a little bit more speakers here this one did actually catch my eye that logo there that's a gaming brand I think it's a razor it's it's a big brand in the computer gaming world so it just kind of caught my eye but that was it I just didn't really see any value in that just buying a subwoofer and I moved on over here a uh, couple of electronics locked up nothing really eye-catching I did notice there's a Wii down on the bottom shelf there uh, but they were selling it as is with no cords for $25 so I decided to pass on that because then I would not be able to be a, I would not be able to return it if with them selling it as is I did also decide to look through the knives try to look for Cutco knives here and there um, but didn't spend too much time in there. There wasn't a whole lot to go through. If it seems like I'm jumping around a lot, I am trying to avoid people. I just don't want to... This is our very first time using the GoPro out and about, and I was kind of nervous, so I tried to stay away from people just to avoid any kind of confrontation. Um, but over here, this remote did actually catch my eye. Anything that's new in package that looks like it could have value I try to do an eBay barcode scan so you just click that little button on the search bar and it should bring up the exact item that it is and you can find comps fairly easy that way um, unfortunately with this one the comps were basically the same price well, there was no room for us to make any money so we just I just put it right back and kept on looking somewhere else I think I did notice this, uh, yeah, this calculator down here. Um, there was no cover on it. And they were asking, I think, $15. The battery terminals looked okay, no corrosion. The battery cover was there, but they usually have that slide cover. And this huge remote actually made me laugh I did think for a second about buying it as a gag gift for my father since he's old and probably could use that uh, but decided against it even though it would have been really funny oh and I did see this other new new inbox but it was actually cut open um, I did comp it anyway just because I felt like if if it was just cut open that probably meant somebody tried it and it didn't work for them so it was still probably new just out of package um, but yeah the comps weren't there on that one either after that I looked up in this little bin and there was a couple Xbox controllers Xbox 360 controllers um, I just don't really have a good way of testing that kind of stuff so I kind of passed this caught my eye just because it was new in the box um, but after looking closer, it had been opened up, so it wasn't necessarily new in box. It probably just kept the box. It doesn't matter anyway, because the price was the same as the comps. There was no room for any profit on that one either. So there were quite a bit of hair straighteners and curling irons and stuff, but I just decided to move on since I don't really know a whole lot about that. This big bowl caught my eye and it was kind of funny because I thought it was like a stone bowl or like a porcelain bowl. It was plastic so I was expecting it to be heavy like this bowl and I picked it up really quick. Um, this one just caught my eye. It was a nice well-made bowl but I didn't know anything about the brand and I didn't see how much they were asking there for it but just decided to move on. We're not huge into breakables. It is one avenue we're, we're looking at growing in the future but um, just not knowledgeable at this point and then I started looking through these shirts again I was moving around a lot because anytime I saw an opening where there wasn't a lot of people I kind of tended to go that way where there was not a lot of people 
Um, that shirt kind of looked like it could have been vintage to me, but I just didn't have a good feeling about it. I don't know. <laughs> Looking through these other shirts. Oh, and then this one, this one did catch my eye, and it's funny. I did actually end up getting this one. <laughs> um, so I guess it's just a Hostess Ding Dong shirt. I guess there's a King Ding Dong mascot. I don't know. I, I did look it up, and there was actually um, a few comps sold for, I think, between $15 and $20. And they were asking $2 on the shirt, so I, yeah, I did pick it up. Yeah, with this $50 thrift haul challenge, I guess not a challenge, collaboration, I was really trying to find a variety of different things. I didn't want to just source all one item or just even one item. You can really um, easily spend $50 on one thing if the profit is there. And I was just trying to get some smaller things um, just to kind of broaden out a little bit more of what we do already. And again, this is my very first thrift haul, so Kathy wasn't here. I guarantee you she would have picked $50 of different things. Um, so I was just trying to mix it up a little bit. And, and yeah, there's some more shirts here. I looked through a lot of clothing. I actually didn't put it all here in the video. Oh, Sand Creek. I actually went to a Sand Creek High School, so that was that caught my eye. Um... It's funny, after I don't see anything that I like for a little bit, I'll just move on. I don't know if anybody's the same, but you know, there's Deadpool. I'm a big comic book nerd, so that caught my eye. This this flag actually did catch my eye. It's Levi's. Um, I thought it was a cool print. I uh, just ended up putting it back. But I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of red shirts. I don't know why. So I got bored with that rack and moved on to the next. And again, I like to stay in the larger shirts, shirts large size or above. This Penn State shirt did catch my eye. It did look like it could have been a little bit older, um, but yeah, I just passed on it. Now this Jordan shirt did catch my eye. Um, I went straight to the price and they were asking a lot for it, so I quickly passed on it. Ireland shirt did catch my eye. We would love to visit Ireland one day. That one caught my eye just because it's a cool little van. I did catch my eye on this uh, Taco Dream Torchy Tacos shirt. There's a restaurant, I think it's up in Denver, Torchy's Tacos. Um, but yeah, nothing really that I really, really wanted to sell, so I just moved on. At this point, I looked over the shoes and saw there was nobody really over there, so decided to go and take a look. I think, what are these, some Sakanis? Um... I think they just were asking a little bit too much, so I just put them back. And I like to look in men's shoes first. And I noticed on this end cap here, there were some Timberlands. So I decided to check those out. And yeah, there was, I don't think there was insoles in them. And they were in okay shape. Maybe there was insoles, I'm not sure. Oh, the shoestrings. Yeah, the shoestrings were kind of messed up, but they were asking $20 for them. So I just decided to pass. Um, again, I'm trying to get a variety of different things. I didn't want to spend too much on one item. So I'm just looking through the athletic shoes here. These ones caught my eye. They were pretty rough. Um, the insoles were pretty torn up, so just decided to pass on those. These ASICs looked okay. I probably could have picked them up and sold them. But then these um, these Hoka's caught my eye. And I didn't actually know there were Hoka's before I picked them up. I just try to pick up all athletic shoes. 
You can see there they're a little worn on the heel. They're asking $13. We have pretty good luck with our Hoka sales. So I did some pretty good looking over. Like I said, the heel was pretty worn. Um, but for the most part, everything else was in pretty decent shape. So at this point, I decided I knew I was going to look up comps. I just wanted to make sure that nothing was super wrong with this other shoe uh, before I go through the time of comping it. So then I pull out my phone and then I do the comps. And I can't remember exactly what line it was of the Hoka, but I did type it in there. Um, I can't, yeah, I can't see what I wrote, but I like to look up what sold first and I did find a pretty good comp here. This was basically the same shoe, a little bit bigger, and they did have the insoles and they sold it for $60 free shipping. Um, it did have some heel wear and you can kind of see, I'll zoom in here to show you there. Not as much as the ones that I have here. Um, I did find another comp. This was a slightly different colorway. Um, one size bigger. The size I have are size 8s. These were size 9s. Um, I think these ones sold for $55. The colorway was similar enough. I felt comfortable that this was a good enough comp. And I zoom in on the heel wear here and you can see how worn out they are on those. So I was like, yes, I will pick these ones up. I did quickly add up all of my fines to see how much I was at, to see how much I had left to spend, and I was calculating that I was at about $30, which means I still had about $20 to spend. So I was just scanning the other shoes. Um, let me know if you guys see anything that I may have missed, but for the most part, I did see a couple nice ASICs, but I didn't want to spend all my money on athletic shoes unless the return was really good. The potential profit on it was really good. I saw these ones. These ones caught my eye, but the soles were really worn. They're pretty worn out. So I decided to pass. Same with these. And so as you can see, we look at, or at least scan, a lot of shoes before we even choose one. Now Kathy might have chosen a few more than I even looked at um, on a normal thrift, but again this challenge or this collaboration was for $50 and I didn't want to spend it all on shoes. I did move into the women's shoes and I didn't really see anything amazing. I also felt a little bit awkward being in the women's shoes. I don't know why, but i um, still getting over that. But I did find these Allegrias and, or I'm sorry, Allegria. I'm pretty sure it's Allegria. And they were just too worn out. So I passed on those. I'm definitely not an expert in women's shoes or even men's shoes for that matter, but nothing really caught my eye. Except for these, these kinds of, these tricked me. I thought they were Tory Birch flats, which I know we have, but they were not. And then down this other aisle, seemed like there was a lot of heels and booties, but I didn't see anything that caught my eye. We're not huge heel sellers we have a hard time selling women's heels so i just don't know enough about them and just showing you guys more or less i did end up looking through the men's jeans here i like to look at the larger sizes 38 and above um i just quickly scanned through i did find a couple newer looking ones but they were just asking too much and i would have picked them up if it was a a discounted color day but the color was not yellow so these two pairs of Levi here they were in really good shape and I think they were asking eleven dollars twelve dollars it was just too much 
quickly scan through the men's sweaters. Didn't see anything I liked. Again, I try to stay in the larger sizes on men's clothes. Anything large and above. Particularly the double XL and, and higher. This Mickey shirt did catch my eye, but it was just a Disney shirt, not a Disney Parks shirt. And it just looked like a shirt that's just very common. Probably you can get it from Walmart. So I decided to pass on it. Oh, I didn't realize that was a Muppets shirt when I was looking at it. Oh, and this, uh, this Allure of the Seas shirt. This one caught my eye because we actually went on a cruise on the Allure of the Seas. So we had been on that cruise ship, uh, I think it was back in 2018, and it was a good time. Huge ship. I think it was the second largest ship, cruise ship at it of the time. This Cartoon Network shirt did catch my eye. I was looking at the date, and it was 2017, so not vintage. Decided to pass on it. And then we came up with another, this is a Disney Parks Mickey shirt, Disney World, $2, looked in good shape. Um, anything Disney Parks is probably worth looking into, and you can kind of see there down at the bottom, it was a little dark, like I didn't notice that mark when I was looking at, in, looking at the shirt, but I decided to run a comp to see how it was selling and unfortunately it just was not selling well at all i think four dollars was one listed four dollars plus shipping and yeah none have sold so i like to look at the sold comps first and i didn't find any of the same shirt so then i went to the sales and you can kind of see there five dollars plus shipping just not into it. Hard Rock shirts, um, I'm not too sure that there's a huge resale market there. I did think this Ninja Turtle shirt was a pretty cool one. It wasn't old or anything. So I just decided to pass on it. Uh, I don't know. It just wasn't something I was super excited to sell. And just looking through some of these other shirts. I think it's important to source things that excite you and that you want to list and sell. Because if you're not excited to list it or sell it, and I should probably uh, explain that come and go shirt, there is a gas station chain here in Colorado and I think some other states called come and go that is a gas station chain this shirt did catch my eye this is um, it caught my eye because it was dated with 98 I wasn't sure if that was the date or if it was just in reference to that date but I just Ultimately decided to pass on it. It was in way too good shape for being from 1998, so just moved on. This was a junk food um, t-shirt, and actually that Packers logo or that picture on the front of the shirt was way more faded. I had a hard time seeing it in person. It looks better on camera. But I did decide to run a comp on it just because I have heard junk food tees, so I ran a comp. I didn't see any good comps nothing similar sold ultimately decided to pass on it and move on so back to what I was talking about earlier um, I do think it's important to source and list things that excite you if you're not gonna be excited to take pictures of something you're not gonna be excited to list it you're not gonna be excited to sell it it's just I guess just good practice to be excited about the things that you're actively trying to list so I do pass on a lot of this kind of stuff I also did have the $50 limit I think that helped me quickly decide to pass on a lot of this stuff
Again, here I'm kind of scanning the area, just trying to make sure I'm not around people. Decided to look through these men's jackets and sweaters. Didn't really see anything in here that excited me. So after that, I decided to go to the outdoor section, see if I could find anything out here. Um, did look at these. There was a few golf clubs and a couple bats. Um, I don't know anything about golf clubs or bats, but decided to look and see if I could magically know something about something I didn't know. I didn't, but um, I did look up a few comps on bats just to see because bats do have the model number on them if you didn't know that and you can kind of see there but ultimately they just didn't have good enough comps and we're not familiar enough with shipping bats or selling bats this one did have the kids name in sharpie on it and I wasn't sure how difficult that would take off without taking off the the paint on the bat or whatever the material is on the bat um, and again I did look up comps they just were not good enough for me so I decided to move on I think I did look up this one as well same story with that one so I move on to the rest of what's going on out here didn't see a whole whole lot I didn't even notice that there was baseball gloves there. I probably should have looked through those, but didn't even notice when I was sourcing out here. There are some skis and snowboards, but don't know much about reselling those. This is the other side of the outside section here. Lots of ski boots and rollerblades there, roller skates. We did actually sell a pair of rollerblades recently, and we made a decent profit on them. Not too much, but it did take us a long time to list. We just weren't excited to sell it, and so it sat for a while. And as I was walking back through the store, I noticed we had already looked at the shelf, but they had put out some Guitar Hero guitars for the Wii. So I decided to look them up. I always hear other resellers like Drew with Profit Monsters and Harry Tornado, Josh. Everybody says they can sell these Guitar Hero guitars. And so I decided to look up some comps and see how much these can go for. They did actually comp out pretty well. I think they came out to about $50 plus shipping or maybe $50 free shipping. Um, so I just need to try to figure out a way to test them, but I did decide to pick up these two guitars because the comps did so so well. They were only $5 too, so I'm just kind of comparing my guitar to the one in the comp. I did pull a comp on the other one just in case because I know some of these Guitar Hero guitars can go for quite a bit of money over a hundred or a couple hundred dollars if you find the right one so I just don't know enough about it to know which would be the right one so I decided to comp them both Alright guys, so I just finished up thrifting and I actually wasn't able to spend the full fifty dollars I just couldn't find enough stuff that I wanted to try to sell um, and I ran out of time. It's 11 o'clock. I got to go pick up my son from school. He gets out at 1130. So I just had to get going. I would have stayed a little bit longer if I had the time, but I ended up spending uh, $37 on what I got. And then we're just going to go ahead and show you guys and show Kathy at the same time what I got. And we'll see what she thinks. Uh, it wasn't a whole lot of great stuff, but I think we're going to make some money on it. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so it is later in the evening. We actually laid the boys down. Um, it's about 9.30 right now. So I've been hiding these from Kathy all day. She has not seen them. I just snuck them up the stairs, hid them under the table. She kept her eyes closed, hopefully. Um, 
But we're gonna get her reaction on what I sourced today and kind of, I don't know, maybe see what you think I, we just I can't stop for. laughing. It's like <laughs> weird, I don't know why. So full disclosure, I did source these at Goodwill and our Goodwill does have a return policy. So um, <laughs> if she's like vetoes it, I'll just go take it back, take it back, right? Is it store credit or do we get- Yeah, cash? store credit. Store credit, we source her all the time, not a big deal. So um, I think earlier I said I was only able to uh, get $37 of the $50. And actually, I think I rounded that up to donate. So it was like 30, uh, thirty-six fifty. So I spent thirty-six fifty on what we're about to see. And we'll see what we think we can list them for <laughs> or return them. So this might be a complete flop. <laughs> All right. I don't know why it's so funny, <laughs> it's so funny to me. Should I start with... Yeah. Oh, what was that? It sounds like a pot in a pan that you said you didn't want to do anymore. <laughs> yep, a pot in a, well, a pan with a okay. lid. So the lid was separate. I had to pay $1.29 for that. And this was $4.99. So we should be able to profit off that, right? Yeah, we actually sold one tonight, so. It's a decent so size. Bad. Yeah, I sold the one today. 30 plus shipping, so. And it's Revereware, copper bottom. So we've been, we have a lot of these and we have only sold a few. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So. That's, they're still good. That's a good source. As long as you're what? good with cleaning it. Yeah, I'll clean it. And I'm actually gonna list all these. Um, I'm probably gonna try to list them up tomorrow. The ones that we keep. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna take you a whole day to wash. <laughs> Not really, but <laughs> like longer than you want it to. And another pot, a little one. <laughs> you gonna do them no together lid. or? Yeah, separate? I don't know. Do we still have an extra lid from the bin? We might have. Well, I think it was a bigger one maybe though. We might, this one was $3.50. Um, smaller, no lid with that one. So <laughs> that should be easy to sell and easy to, yeah. to ship. I mean, I might even do a small lot with those two. Oh. Another pot? <laughs> no, a pan. I got okay, a pan. Right. <laughs> so, Revereware pan, cool little frying pan. I'm laughing because he did say that he bought seven items. So, I did like have a small hit. So, I've already seen three, or does that count as four of the lid? That might be four. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, yeah, we were on crunch time, guys. Kathy didn't really have the time to go out and do this. Well, I kind of tried. Yeah. I went to Salvation Army a few days ago, and normally I just look at shoes there. But I was like, well, I got 50 bucks. Uh, I'll see what I can get. And I <laughs> literally went through almost the whole store, every rack, and found like three things and spent like $18. So then I was going to go back the next day somewhere else, and it just ran out of time. And then we thought it'd be funny for him to do this. Yeah, <laughs> so we were thinking that night. I was like, well, I could just go source. And then we laughed and was like, hey, that might be a good idea. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and actually using the GoPro, I uh, I was really nervous at first, but after probably 10 minutes uh it was nothing i mean nobody <laughs> i was afraid that people were gonna be like hey well, just don't, don't record me i just made it a point not to like turn my body towards people <laughs> and nobody talked to me about it so um and i know well, quite you a kind of look a little scary yeah. so i feel like i would be i'm scary <laughs> yeah i feel like if i were to go probably they'd be like hey you can't do that <laughs> <laughs> all right this one you might you're either gonna really like or really hate. Uh oh. All right, what is it? I think this is actually the best thing that I've sourced today. I didn't actually look them over too, too well. Oh gosh. But I all found right. some hokas. Nice. Hoka. They don't have insoles. That's all right. Um, there is a little more wear than I was hoping for, but the comps, I did look up comps in the store. A lot of the comps that were selling for 50 plus still had a lot of this wear. Yeah. So, um, and I think people that are gonna buy these probably either have a set of insoles in their previous shoe or yeah, like okay these these are like them. running shoes, right? A lot of runners yeah, so like to have uh, aftermarket they, so insoles. Yeah. So once they wear a pair down, they don't usually wear the insole down, so they might just put their old insole in the new. So these did cost thirteen dollars. Um, yeah, our Goodwills are pricey yeah. on shoes, but it's still I think you'll still but make. I think some we money can get these. fifty fifty five bucks yeah. plus shipping, maybe not. My last pair without insoles sold around 50, I think. This has a little bit of heel wear, but. Yeah. 
I there are there are smaller. Would've. I think they're a size eight. Like I might have left them at thirteen because of the missing insoles, but if they had the insoles, I for sure would have bought even with the wear. Yeah. I definitely yeah. I still think that was a good pick. But I'll probably you know clean up these <laughs> with some magic eraser and all that. But these I just usually toss in the washing machine. <laughs> so. I might do that. I don't know. Yeah. All right. right. So this is another thing you're probably gonna make fun of me for sourcing. Make fun of you. Because we <laughs> recently got one and I was like, don't get those. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so a, this is for Wii. This is a Guitar Hero guitar. Um, so it doesn't use batteries. You just plug the controller in here, I guess. And that's for the Wii remote or what? The, the Wii remote sticks okay. in the back here. And I so guess it's not that's, missing anything and does it have the corrosion it in the might battery? be missing the cover but all the comps that i was finding didn't have the cover anyway so did you check the bat or it doesn't have batteries doesn't have batteries have yeah but you don't know if it works because we don't have i don't have i don't really have a way to test it but the comps on these were like 55 bucks um so i don't mm -hmm. know i have some friends that have wii's i might go try to test them maybe try to get that little bit <laughs> extra money but I think the strap does yeah, help even out. for parts too, like if it doesn't, if it is broken, we could probably, Yeah. does this come off of that? Yeah, and the neck does come off, so, so it should be easier to ship. Some people might just buy that. Like if somebody broke this or one of their buttons stopped working, yeah. they could just buy that. So, I mean, All this right. was $5. <laughs> so I bought one of these a few months ago and kind of like ended up in the death pile because we wanted to test it and we just didn't have, I think that one was for Xbox or something. And then and we then, opened up the battery yeah. cover and it so was, that was corroded a lot. So. That was like um, a rookie mistake. That's like one thing you should always do at the thrift. Yeah. Just check it, the battery. Anything that has batteries, <laughs> check the battery terminals. And if there's any of that white corrosion, <laughs> it's probably best to just leave it be. Unless it's something that's super valuable. <laughs> Sometimes that can be refurbished and all that. But it's yeah. for you know for what we're reselling, we're probably just going to pass on it. So. so we ended up tossing that other one. But did we keep one piece of it? The other one that we threw away? Uh, I actually, I did keep the battery the cover. Little, oh, okay. Because we could um, at least, I think I paid five bucks for it. So. I think I only saw one <laughs> sold for it, and it was like five bucks shipped. So we could probably break even on just the cover. Right. So I did keep the cover. I just haven't <laughs> listed that. So, yeah. I mean, always watching Drew and all the, the guys that like selling this kind of yeah. stuff. I always, I always want us to do it, but I'm just worried about. Trying to branch know, out a little bit, you know. worry me a little bit. Yeah, so. <laughs> Might have to sell it untested, but it was five bucks. Um, we should be at least able to right. break even, <laughs> I guess, in a bad in bad case, in a worst case scenario. Um, and I actually bought two of them. <laughs> <All right. laughs> They're both wees. <laughs> this is this funny? Because this is definitely a Chris haul, but it's not bad. It's good. It so nothing good has stuff. to be returned just yet, right? Right. I think I only have one item left, um, which is kind of my favorite item, but. Five dollars on that one too. I think the comps were about the same. The red octane, Les Paul. So right. probably just wipe them down. This one was a little bit dirty, but yep. <laughs> so two of those. Yeah. Nope. One more. <laughs> that's more than seven. Is it? Oh no, that's seven. If you don't count the lid, I guess. <laughs> and I bought a shirt. Ooh. Which says King Ding Dong. <laughs> Post this. <laughs> I definitely would not have that. Uh, is it like two bucks or something? It was, uh, yeah, two dollars. <laughs> I mean, I don't think you'll lose money. I, I just, I, mean, I kind of bought it to, cause I was, I was running out of time. That. I had, I had to pick up Sai from school. I didn't have enough time. Mm -hmm. If I would have had more time, I would have stayed sourcing longer. And Goodwill mm -hmm. was busy this morning. I. I've never been sourcing on my own, especially in the middle of the day, and I kind of that kind of threw me. Like, there's a lot of people there, so uh, yeah. But I can't remember the comps, but I think they're like twenty bucks. Really? Yeah. So it's it's. Not it's, bad. For, I'd pay two to. I mean, it's Hostess brand, so it's not like a it's not yeah. like a homemade one or anything like that. Like it's, it's maybe some kind of promotional item. I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know. It's a funny shirt. I King guess. Ding Dong. <laughs> Maybe a thumbnail. <laughs> so I don't know. So after shipping and everything, you probably at least maybe make a hundred bucks profit. Not too bad. Pretty good, <laughs> I guess. For your first time, huh? Yeah. 
Let us know what you guys think. How did I do? What's your favorite thing he picked out? <laughs> Have I learned from all of the videos that we make every day? <laughs> Have I learned? <laughs> you pretty much picked out stuff I would have picked other than the shirt. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wouldn't have picked the guitars only because I'm too scared to sell electronics. But It's funny because I walked by the shelf that they were on maybe three times. Yeah, and then no, no. as I was like getting mm -hmm. ready to go, I saw them on the shelf. There, there was a Wii next to them and I looked at the Wii. It was being sold as is, 20 bucks, and I was like, yeah. Didn't want to get into that, but then those came down. and you could have at least bought the Wii to test those, and then we could have returned the Wii. Well, I don't know if the Wii worked, so and there was no cords with it, so that was... Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I, I think I did all right, not great, and obviously no home runs here. Um, but I think I was in there for an hour, maybe hour and a half or so, and... Uh, yeah, this is kind of what I found during that hour. If we can get it all listed and sold and make a hundred bucks, 150 bucks, I think I did all right. So <laughs> let us know what you guys think. Uh, I think that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to go watch the other resellers. There will be links in our description to all other videos. Um, go watch them and see what they were able to find. Hopefully they found stuff better than I did. It would have been fun if you, if you would have done one too. <laughs> one of these we both do 50. if we like challenge each other <laughs> but well, you found better stuff than <laughs> i found so all right guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you guys in the next one bye bye